I think all of us at one point in time have wondered about heaven. Is it just a vault in which the sun, moon, and stars rest? Or is it an experience of extreme bliss, the good after death, where we will rise up and be surrounded by angels and our loved ones who have passed on? Well, my kids ask about heaven a lot, even more now since my mom and dad are there. And that's exactly why my colleague and dear friend, Lindsay Davis, wrote her new book, How High is Heaven? Because when Lindsay isn't anchoring ABC News Live Prime here on our channel, She's being an awesome mom and a best-selling children's book author. Lindsay, good to have you. Kira, I've been waiting for this <laughs> moment to be on TV and share the screen with you. And by the way, I should have co-written this book with you because how did you describe heaven as a, is it a vault in which the sun, moon, and stars rest? <laughs> I needed to have that as a line in the book. Thank you for that and ha thanks for having me on. No, it's a, what an honor, my soul sister right next to me. All right, let's talk about Aiden, uh, your precious son. He actually inspired yes. How High is Heaven. Tell us about that. So one day, uh, maybe two years ago, he was about five at the time, and he came home and he said, how come my friend has two grandmas and two grandpas and I just have one of each? And so <laughs> we started talking about uh, my husband's mother, who was still alive when Aiden was born until he was about one, one year old and she passed away. And so I said, well, you did know Grandma P when you were a baby. And I said, but she's now in heaven. And so he said, well, I want to see her. So I start showing him pictures. And he said, no, I want to go to heaven and see her. And this became <laughs> here like a preoccupation that for several days and weeks and, and ultimately several months later, we were on a plane and he was looking out a window and he said, I don't see her. And that's Grandma P there to the left. He said, I don't see her. I said, you don't see who? And he said, I don't see Grandma P. I was looking for her while we were on the plane up in heaven. And, and so I decided in that moment, and my son has been the muse for all of my children's books, but that was the time and I said, you know, what? let's just play this conversation out in a children's book. I love it. And, and how does Aiden feel about being the inspiration for the book? And how does he understand heaven now and where Grandma P is? Well, I'll ask, answer the second one first. You know, he really, I think the one point that he decided, okay, fine, and, and really put it to rest for a little bit was when we talked about the idea that they would be reunited, that this was not a goodbye, this was see you later. Um, and he started asking about her, you know, questions and what she was like. And we were able to kind of keep her spirit alive and, and so mm. that he could kind of get to know her. And so he thinks that the book is really neat. He, he knows that all of the books have been inspired by him, but this was the first time that it was really our conversation on the pages. You know, he's always thought that the little boy character uh, who illustrated in the book was him um, but now we actually had and, and the little boy in in the book he he starts building a Lego staircase and a pogo stick and a trampoline and spaceship hot air <laughs> balloon all these different <laughs> physical ways that that he's trying to get um, to this place uh, uh, called heaven and and so my son really is able to now I, I would say he kind of got a little bit of comfort a little bit of solace um, by saying okay I will see grandma P one day but for now I'll enjoy heaven here on earth Amen to that. And uh, just so everyone knows, too, uh, you are so transparent about your faith. You incorporate it within the book. And I watch you live your faith every single day. And it's just such a pleasure to talk about how high is heaven with you, Lindsay. I feel it. I feel it, too. Kira, <laughs> and, and, and you know how I feel about you. And we both are, have been able to have some conversations about our faith and, and death with the, with the passing of your mom recently. And, um, you know, these are difficult conversations to have, I think, for adults. And, and as well as, as children, and especially in this time of COVID when we have more than 220,000 kids who have now basically been orphaned by COVID, that they've lost a, a primary caregiver. And so uh, I think that it's important to be able to have these conversations with kids. Yeah, and know that we'll reunite again for thanks. sure. Lindsay, thanks. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.